Hello, friends of uh, Creating Haley. I am Kimberly at Creating Haley, and uh, in today's episode, we are making these spring tulips. So, I did this by sight, and I put in my quilt notebook some um, <laughs> um, measurements. Oh my gosh. Uh, to, in order to do this myself. I just saw a picture and I thought, oh, I'm going to do this myself. And it came out pretty good. But um, this is green right here, by the way. You can't really tell. It's so light. Um, but I think it turned out all right. And it's not exactly square because I added this little middle sash. This made it unsquare. But um, it it turned out pretty good but then all you have to do is add extra sashing on the outsides and that'll and then you trim it down so that it is square so anyway let's get into making this spring tulip duo okay so what i did was i saw a picture and i saw that it was a brick basically so it was twice as long as it is wide twice as long as it is wide. And I just used two and a half inch um, squares for, to make it really simple. However, I messed up a little bit. I, I did the cutting first and then I realized I needed extra fabric. So um, <clears throat> when you make these guys down here, these half square triangles, I only cut two and a half inches and then um, so I made my half square triangles, but I only cut the square two and a half inches, the color, and then the background two and a half inches. And instead of, I didn't want to waste it. So, so what I had to do was make the um, seam allowance really small. So instead of a quarter inch seam allowance, I only did an eighth of an inch seam allowance and to try to salvage as much fabric as possible. Um, so I had to like kind of finagle it a little bit to make it happen, but I made it happen. Um, and it is a little wonky because of that. If I was able to use a quarter inch seam allowance for everything, that would have been better. So let me tell you my mistakes. Let me tell you what I did. Let me tell you my mistakes and then you can make it better. How about that? So, these, if you look at it, these are just two and a half inch blocks or squares across. And then, so there's two, two and a half inch across and then four down. So it is a brick. So when you put two of these together, it becomes a square. So I put a sash in there, which made it a little bit wider. But you don't have to do that. You can butt these two flowers right up against each other. And if you're using multiple colors, that's going to be pretty. Like if you have blue and yellow and you know, purple and orange or whatever, different colors in here, you can butt them against each other and the, and the flowers will stand out. But since I was using the same colors, I didn't really want to like, you know, do that kind of a thing. So I put a little sash in the middle so that my pinks can stand on their own. So what that effectively did was make it wider. And so it's, it's like nine inches this way and only eight inches this way or something like that, right? So that's the, my disclaimer on on using the sash in the middle you don't have to so let me tell you what i did because these were i wanted them to be relatively simple but so i just like in my zest to get <laughs> this done i did like quick measurements and i'm like oh two and a half inch squares that'd be great but what i didn't account for was when you do these um half square triangles here if you want to save fabric, um, then you sew, you sew your two and a half inch together. I don't have, I don't have one because I put them all in here. But anyway, you, you cut your feature color and you cut your background color and then you put them, you know, right sides together and then, uh, so, and then you... And then what you do is, and we just did this on a previous video, so watch watch my previous video. It was on the bear paw, the April block of the month, the bear paw, spring 
uh, quilt along. So anyway, you put your squares together, your color square together, your background square, pretty sides together, and then you draw a line down the center and then you sew a quarter inch on each side. Now you cut the center down. Now what that does is it makes the block smaller than it should be. So what I did, what I ended up doing was I really tried to squeak out two and a quarter inches on here. So I tried to trim these up as close to two and a quarter as I could get. There wasn't a whole lot that came off and some of these squares were wonky because really you should trim it down to two inches. And maybe I should have done that, but that would have made this square even smaller. But anyway, regardless, I, so if you want to avoid that, then make your squares, let's see, two and a half, maybe three inches, make them three inches and then do your two sews and then one cut. And then there is zero waste on these, okay, on your half square triangles. All right, now, what are you going to need? I actually made too many, and I made extra. So when I made these, I cut two of each, and you'd only need four. So I made enough of these for four flowers instead of only two. So you only need two colors. Um, and mine is super scrappy. You don't have to make it the scrappy, but... I just wanted to make it a little scrappy. So you can see I used four colors of green for the leaves. And then I used a different green for the stem. I have a lot of green. <laughs> uh, so um, I think I cut two of these. Yes, I cut two each of the green. Um, but that makes four of these flowers so if you cut in my I hope I'm getting this I hope I'm making this come across easily I don't know I'm anyway um if you only want to make two flowers two green squares and then two background to match those squares and <clears throat> is that right I don't know I actually don't know I made, I think I cut two of each. I cut two of each. So um, I had eight. Okay, that's it. So I had eight. So if you only want to make four, two flowers, you only need four of these. I cut eight, so I had extra. Okay. <laughs> and then you only need four um of the top petal pieces, two and a half inch squares. And then for these, you can do them scrappy if you want, two and a half, more two, two and a half inch squares, but I just cut, this is five and a half, no, four and a half. This is four and a half inches across. This bottom part to the flower is four and a half inches across. And then what I did was I cut one and a half, one and a quarter inch squares for these little pieces, one and a quarter inch squares. Okay, so this is one, uh, this is one, one whole square. I'm sorry. You need four of these one and a half inch, one, oh my gosh, guys. Because I didn't write this down, I'm just doing this by memory, which is not good for me to do that. So you need two and a half inch squares for the petals you need four of those you only need two um four and a half inch by two and a quarter um two inch so i made them two inch so this is two inch tall by four and a half inches across these little cutouts are one and a quarter inch background squares. These half square triangles, I cut four of the green, two and a half inch, 
And then for the background, two and a half inch, put those together, you're gonna get two of these, okay? So, um, this piece right here is three quarters of an inch. Three quarters of an inch. I didn't want it very big because that takes um, space away from the these leaves. But a stem and a flower isn't very thick anyway. It's not a tree, it's just a little flower there. And then the sash I did was an inch, I think, wide, something like that. I think it was an inch wide. Um, and then you lose a half an inch with a quarter inch seam allowance. So most of my seam allowances on these were only an eighth of an inch. And then the rest of them I did use a quarter of an inch. It is so wonky, guys. You don't even have to make this. There are, I'm sure there are patterns out there. I just looked at a picture and was like, yeah, I can do that. Um, so let me show you what I have down here. So I almost started finishing this, but I want to turn this around for you. So you can see what I did here now. These are the one and a quarter inch little squares that I was talking about. Put those on the two by four and a half inch flower petal or flower bottom. And they go like this. And then you draw a line from one corner to the next because you're replacing that pink with the background color then okay and then you would sew on that line cut this part off can you guys see that and then you flip this over and iron that and that becomes the new corner and then you do that same thing to this side okay and then for the flower petal tops, put your feature colors together. Put again another one and a quarter inch face side down. And you want the the drawings to look like that, okay? And then you get your half square triangles and put them together in a way that makes sense. I did something wrong here. In, in a way that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So. And you can see. That's a leaf. And that's a leaf. This is the ground. And then you have your stem. So arrange it in this manner. Sew those. Replace those uh, flower corners with the, the background color. Okay, just like here, it turns out like this. And then these are the same thing. So you add the corners and put the two background colors together to create your petals. And then these turn into this. So what I would do is I would, after you make the half square triangles, trim them down to all the same uniform size, and then right sides together. So along here, uh, I would use, well, I had to use an eighth of an inch seam allowance. You can use whatever you want. And then when you open that up, that is now a attached. And then same thing here, flip that up, so. And then now those two are attached, so you have these two pieces. Put this piece onto here, sew that down, open it up, iron it open or finger press, and then you take the other side, flip that, and then so now you have created this, okay? All right, so that, this becomes this. And then these, you... Um, sew these on, sew all these little squares on, and now you have these pieces, right like this. And so you sew these together, just like that, 
quarter inch seam allowance. Now this, now these are attached. And then you would sew this onto here, quarter inch seam allowance, open that up. Now these are attached. And now this goes onto here. So you would just attach right here, quarter inch seam allowance and open that up. And that is how you get these flowers. Now, if you wanted to put the sash in the middle, you can. At that point, it's just like attaching this, just like attaching this. So you um, place your, I have a sash right here. This happens to be one and a quarter inch, one and a quarter inch. Yeah, I made this one and a quarter inch, okay. So then you just place that down on there. So sew your quarter inch seam allowance, open that up. And then you place this one, this flower down on that. I hope you, I hope you understand that. I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a while and you already know how to sew, this is, this is easy. Okay. What I'm telling you, you already know. And then that is how you make your <laughs> tulips for uh, spring. So I'm adding another April block. Uh, so yeah, so here's another block for April. All right, have fun making that. If you have any questions, pop those in the comment section below. Um, I will, there are patterns out there. You can follow along on a pattern or somebody who's who's actually has <laughs> some better uh, measurements than I do. But I just took my my um, quilting log and I just drew pictures myself. And then I figured out, so here's my key. I made these four little squares one inch. And then so I just took that and I just did, did my flowers there, okay? Now, remember to add your seam allowance. So I didn't add my seam allowance. I was like, oh yeah, two and a half inch squares. Actually, I did add seam allowance, but I didn't add enough. So because I didn't, I wanted to do these with no waste, make your half square triangles a little bit bigger. You don't have to do that for these. You can still use the two and a half inch squares for this. This little one and a quarter inch square is, there's there's gonna be some waste, but you can't really, there's gonna be, this is gonna be the waste. It's gonna be tiny like that, okay? For the, the triangle tip, for the tip off of here. All right. That's enough of me rambling. You guys have fun making this. If you have any questions, let me know. I could try to make a better video. <laughs> have a good time. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.